Hey everyone, Irit here with a new process video and I think you will be happy to know that um, well, I am part of the Pink and Paper design team. Pink and Paper is an online uh, scrapbooking and card supplies store in Slovenia. They ship worldwide, uh, but they are local. They are... Um, what's the word? <laughs> They are physically in Slovenia, so uh, if you are like me in Europe, then uh, this is a great uh, option. And as part of the design team, I create two uh, layouts every month. And in February, I'm creating two layouts using the Crate Paper um, Main Squeeze Collection. It's their Valentine's Collection and... Nobody does Valentine collections like crate paper, in my opinion. So I think uh, you will be happy to get another extra two videos every month, hopefully, um, you know, on top of the Hip Kit Club uh, scrapbooking layouts. And these will be uh, with the Hip Kits video. I use uh, the kits, which are always a selection of um, of products and um, as far as I know, in the Ping and Paper videos, I will be using collections. So I think it will be a fun uh, variety if you also enjoy uh, using collections for your scrapbooking. And this video is very uh, sped up. This layout took some time to... Um, to make. I think it took me about an hour to create it. And if there are even more hand gestures than usual, the reason is that I made um, a video of this in real time for my patrons on Patreon. So that's just the, the explanation um, why I'm moving my hands so much. It's because I talk with my hands. And in the real time uh, video, obviously, um, I have more time to explain why I'm doing what I'm doing and go through my thought process. I started with I started this with no design concept in mind, and it just came together, um, and the idea came to me as I was creating it. So I think it's interesting to uh, see that, and I also want to say that. Um, I think I will make some changes to uh, Patreon and, um, well, anyway, I will update you with that um, as soon as it comes together, hopefully in March. And I'm also working on another uh, Killer Kit class. Well, it's kind of a Killer Kit class, but um, I'm using up my December Hip Kit Club kits and... Um, yeah, I I just it's the second um like killer kit type class that I'm doing and this time I took kind of another approach and I'm really focusing on kind of getting it done uh in this class. So I don't see, you know, speed as like a goal in itself <laughs> when I'm scrapbooking because I enjoy the process. But um, I'm sure that like most of you or many of you out there, um, I don't have unlimited time to scrapbook. And I do feel that um, I, I feel that sense of accomplishment when I can get uh, a few layouts done uh, relatively fast and of course enjoy the process so that's kind of my focus in the new class and of course all the details will um, yeah I will share all the details I usually do like a video talking about you know every new class and what's in it and who's it for and all that so hopefully that's also coming soon I don't know maybe this month hopefully this month uh, still in February okay so as I was playing with this, I'm using this photo. I think it's actually from last winter, um, but I really love it. And, you know, because the supplies are kind of Valentine themed, I thought it would be uh, a nice photo because, I don't know, for me, Valentine is the the holiday of love, let's say. Not that we really 
um, market in any way at home. Uh, we don't really do, yeah, we don't really do anything Valentine related, but I do enjoy uh, scrapbooking with Valentine supplies. And um, for me, every layout about something that I love or the people that I love or my family or something like that is um, appropriate for Valentine supplies. So I have, I don't have the entire collection. I have a few papers. I have the chipboard um, stickers and the 6x12 sticker, which is actually a 12 by 12 sheet. It's, uh, it just comes uh, folded in half. And I have the gorgeous, perfect, puffy stickers. Um, I show everything that I got um, from this collection in a video on my channel, so hopefully I can link it here in the video. I hope so. What am I doing here? Oh, um, so at this point, I was inspired by one of the chipboard pieces in the chipboard uh, sheet to create kind of a large, what's it called? Like these, you know, prize ribbons, I think you call these. Um, and so I thought, okay, I can make something like that with the papers. And I ended up just hand cutting a bunch of these, I don't know, banner shapes from the different pattern papers. And then I actually used my silhouette to cut the big uh, circle. And more importantly, the scalloped circle behind it. So that's really where something like, you know, a silhouette comes in handy because I don't have such dies. I mean, if you have dies, of course, you can totally use uh, dies. That's probably almost as fast or if not faster than using your computer. But with these like basic shapes, like a the scalloped circle, I couldn't hand cut it. I mean, I could, but I wouldn't <laughs> because I'm lazy. <laughs> And with the silhouette, you know, it just takes no time at all. So maybe if you're watching this, then maybe this inspires you to, um, I don't know, use your silhouette for something simple, not like super intricate and really enjoy the ease of this uh, machine. Or of course, you can pull up your, pull out, take out your uh, dies and have a play with them. You could, I'm making like this one huge, like prize ribbon, but you could make, I don't know, like maybe three smaller ones. You could even cut your photo in a circle and put that in the middle of your um, prize ribbon embellishment type thingy and, and do the design like that. I think that would look awesome. Um, so just a few ideas. But I went big because, you know, go big or go home. That's what I always say. <laughs> and yeah, and now I'm just trying to find um, a design, like an arrangement of these banners that is pleasing to my eye. And I just, I wanted this. This is pretty, like, this is four times uh, sped up. So... It's quite a lot. It seems very fast to me, but I didn't want this video to be, you know, super, super long. So it's already like 15 minutes, which I think is very respectable. Um, but yeah, I'm just noticing that my hands are moving very, very fast. <laughs> so yeah, this is, I'm like thinking what I want to use as my title. And I thought about that love, love. And then I decided the so sweet um, worked really nicely with my circular shape and you'll see me, I end up moving it uh, down and going for uh, a center design. So I was just trying a bunch of things here and in the real time video you can, you know, I kind of try to uh, verbalize um, why I like certain things and why I don't like them and, you know, why certain things work for me and then others don't. Um, and it's just getting the right placement of things. And here I wasn't liking, I felt there was just too much, too many layers behind my photo. And I think I end up not using, oh, I do a switcheroo there. I don't think I've ever used the word switcheroo. <laughs> I don't think I should ever use it again. <laughs> Can we agree on that? So, um, 
A few more things. If you didn't notice, if you missed that somehow, Tracy Banks and I have another, we did another weekend clinic uh, this past weekend. And that's six pretty long videos from the both of us um, this weekend. And make sure you watch that. We are first we focused on using stamps and inks and I think we both did very well. Um, Tracy really, um, really, really made some great use of her stamps and I think I didn't do um, too bad myself. So if you need some stamping inspiration, make sure you check that out. So yeah, this video is a little bit of a catch up of like what's going on. And um, I think you can see it's kind of self-explanatory what's going on there. I'm using some uh, foam to um, kind of get a little bit dimension behind this whole piece. Um, I think it makes a difference and uh, I really like using this uh, foam for, I use it pretty much on every layout. I either um, use it to adhere like a large uh, design element, like in this case, or my photo in most other cases. <laughs> so now I'm pretty much done with the main elements. I have my photo, I have my main design, I have my paper selected, my background selected, and now it's time for the finishing touches. And I do like how the So Sweet uh, just sits there at the bottom of the circle. I think that looks good and it just all works together. And now I'm thinking if maybe I should fill this circular area with something else and put the photo on the side. And I don't think it looks bad, um, not at all, but I didn't really have a good idea of what I could um, fill that with. Um, I guess, I don't know, I could have embellished it in some uh, attractive way. I'm sure that I could have because there are lots of gorgeous embellishments in the bits that I have here. But I end up just going with my original thought, just going for a more uh, centered design. So at the top I added that uh, I Heart You banner. And I'm trying to think, I'm not sure it actually stayed there uh, for the till the end of the layout. We shall see because I created this uh, a few weeks ago. So I don't exactly remember every detail. And what I do know is that these are going, these, um, I don't know, it's like a, like a little heart flourish decoration. I think it will go back. I don't think it stays there. So yeah, I'm really happy to offer you some more videos on my channel. Um, you know, because I am in this design team, so I do uh, need to create two more projects and I usually film everything that I scrapbook anyway. Um, so it's a win-win and I get to play with some more pretty, um, pretty goodies from lovely new collections. So actually I have to tell you, I had no idea um, what this collection really contained until I, um, you know, until I saw the stuff that I got, it's so cute. And the cherry on, you know, the top of this uh, cutesy, pretty lovely collection are these puffy stickers. <sighs> I think I talk about this in my little haul video, but they are just so, so pretty. I can't get over how adorable they are and they are so like lovely to touch and yeah I know that's <laughs> that's not <laughs> something that should play any role uh, in our appreciation of our supplies because it does you know it does go into an album and I'll probably won't take them out of the <laughs> page protector so I can fondle them um, but yeah they are just gorgeous um, very cutesy, but I have to say, I love cutesy. So it's like all my favorite colors here, you know, different shades of pink and mint 
and gold. So in my book, it's a huge um, yes, please. I want that in my albums. <laughs> and I have no problem. I mean, for me, I love pink and these are my albums. Therefore, I can use pink to document whatever I want. And I have no problem. I If I made this layout just about my husband or something, it would be just as pink because it's my layout and I like pink. So I think we made that point clear. Thank you for watching. Here are some close-ups. I wish you a lovely day. Bye.